when she clearly received coaching, and then her coach admitted that he gave coaching, then had several hissy fits at umpire Carlos Ramos for rightly enforcing the rules. Yeah, it before accusing him of sexism. Serena then accusing the umpire of men, sexism. There are men out here that do lot worse because I'm a woman. Because I'm a woman, you're gonna take this away from me? Yeah, you were playing against a woman, so that doesn't even make sense. Plus, male players have been kicked out of tournaments altogether for abusing umpires. And if all this wasn't embarrassing enough, she then gave a press conference claiming that she was standing up for women's rights. I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality. Yeah, Serena, if you're really fighting for women's rights and women's equality, why do you have a history of being viciously mean to women? Here. Ever seen me walking down the hall with the other way? Here. And Serena Williams is giving it to her. Here. I won't be back to wait until I'm ready. Are you cool? I don't play slow. Honestly, you have a problem? Here. Point penalty, game, set, match. Here. And you're just unattractive inside. Here. Are you scared? Yes, I said I would be cheating. And here. Now umpires are banding together to support Ramos against accusations of sexism because the Women's Tennis Association immediately threw him under a bus in favour of upholding Williams' woke diatribe. There's even discussions of the umpires forming a union and boycotting Serena Williams' matches. The decisions made by Ramos had nothing to do with sexism or racism. Those aren't my words, those are the words of the umpire who gave the exact same penalty to John McEnroe for a similar outburst. Last time I checked, John McEnroe was a man. But it's no surprise that Serena immediately smothered herself in self-indulgent virtue signalling to distract from her poor performance. After all, she's a representative of Nike and celebrated their latest progressive PR stunt in a tweet last week. Because there's nothing that gives you the moral high ground more than making a giant transnational corporation infamous for child labour and exploitation of third world workers the poster child of your protest movement. Hashtag resistance! Now, which other Nike athlete employs glib social justice temper tantrums to distract from his own failings? Can't quite think of who that might be. Serena Williams has always been that kind of nauseating figure who can say virtually anything, and her sycophantic fans will amplify it without question. You go, girl! Yeah, slay! You know, that sort of drivel. Nonsense like this, which got 111,000 retweets and 280,000 likes. Serena Williams won a Grand Slam while she was pregnant, so every man should probably shut up about everything forever! Yeah, men won world wars under threat of imminent death. Serena Williams Play tennis! So maybe the only person who should shut up is you. But to illustrate how much of an irate mob that her army of crazed fans can truly be, this cartoonist's children received violent threats and he was chased off Twitter merely for drawing an accurate representation of what happened. But Williams attempting to disguise the fact that she was easily beaten with some half-baked feminist tirade is par for the course in today's society. As Theodore Dalrymple writes, querulous self-righteousness combined with a refusal to look inward or to examine one's own conduct and motives is characteristic of our age. We feel responsible for everything, in Serena's case, women's rights, except for what? We do. Self-exculpation, self-justification and special pleading are nothing new in human psychology, but never have these rather unattractive human traits had so much material upon which to work. Serena attempted to infuse morality into what was just a self-indulgent hissy fit based on her frustration at losing. And self-loathing social justice warriors are no different. In their minds, their viciousness and aggressive lunacy is justified as a legitimate response to society's supposedly inherently oppressive nature. Oh my god, like, so oppressive. They think they're righteous martyrs. When in reality, like Serena Williams, they're just sore losers. So no, Serena, it wasn't sexist, it wasn't racist, it was just you having a temper tantrum. So get over it, move on, and- SHUT THE FUCK UP!